Hi, I'm Rachel Brady from Family Food Blog Well Worn Whisk. Hi, I'm Amy from Amy Bean Mum. Mums Net and Soreen have asked me to come up with some healthy lunchbox ideas to share with you guys to inspire you throughout the school week. I have two girls, Caitlin who is nine and Elle who is 18 months. Caitlin is a little bit of a picky eater and only mm -hmm. likes certain things. For example, she doesn't like sandwiches and Elle is a really good eater and eats all the time. So it's really important that I have snacks with me all the time for her to eat on the go. So I have two children, Arthur is six and Beatrix is four. They're both fussy in different ways. They both like different things. And also I think it's challenging uh, just to come up with things that aren't just sandwiches. There's nothing wrong with sandwiches, but I think just coming up with new ideas. So I've got a few things up my sleeve. So let's see how it goes. It is the first day's lunch and we're doing a little plowman's inspired thing. So we've got mini pork pie, just half, got two scotch eggs, some nice ham, and then lots of vegetables, grapes and apples, which go with the plowman's really nice. And then we've got the little saurine loaf, so we've got the original there, and B is having the banana one. So, Caitlin doesn't really like bread and sandwiches, so today I'm making her a wrap, and I'm going to do a barbecue chicken wrap. And all I do is add a spoonful of mayo onto the wrap, a squirt of barbecue sauce, I just do it directly onto the wrap to save dirty in any dishes, mix it together, and you have a barbecue mayo as the base for your wrap. Then I just add chicken and some salad. And everyone folds their wraps differently, this is how I do mine. I fold up the bottom and the sides, and again. And then everything's contained in the wrap. Caitlin loves getting messages in her packed lunchbox, so what I often do is um, wrap her lunch up in foil, keeping it nice and flat, and then I write a message on it with Sharpie pen. A sorry banana loaf, a squeeze of yogurt so she doesn't need to take a spoon, piece of fruit, so today's an apple, and Caitlin always takes her bottle of water with her. My top tip is to really plan. Leftovers, uh, double up so that whenever you're making something you can either have it for lunch or it's a leftover of a night's dinner. Mini muffin pizzas today which was last night's dinner and again some leftover corn on the cob and cucumber, saurine to finish and some mango and of course some water. So this is Caitlin's lunch for today. I'll wrap it up properly in a moment but I left out just to show you I have given Caitlin some homemade soup in a thermos tub like this to take to school and I've cut up some rolls for her to dip in her soup. Today we have a leftover pasta mixed with shop-bought pesto and some mayo and some prawns with the saurine as well and some blueberries and a peeled tangerine and I'm going to pop that in their little picnic bags that they take with them to school. So that was our week of packed lunch boxes. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it useful. So every day I try to think is this balanced and a little treat like saurine is really great because it's a good source of fibre and it's fairly low in sugar as well. So we're actually already big fans of the sodium products in this house but we loved trying the little mini versions of them and um, the fact that they were individually packed was so useful. Caitlin said that she loved being able to take them out into the playground with her because they were individually wrapped and also they were really handy to shove in Elle's toddler bag for when we were out and about. They really enjoyed the soaring layers. Every day they came back the boxes came back and there was a little saurine wrapper in there so I knew that they enjoyed them. If you have any good ideas please pop them in the comments below, I'd love to hear them and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and please do let us know your packed lunch tips in the comments below. Bye!